go to jail. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars and the Emergency Transmission. We are falling into armed revolution as I speak. We're going to start with InfoWars. Uh, black Mob viciously beats white pump voters. I call them animals. I don't care what the skin color are, is they are animals. They uh, pulled him out of his car and beat the snot out of him. I think they stole his car, too. Now, if you go to InfoWars and watch this video, uh, the video keeps moving again and again, so you'll we'll have to unclick it, right click, and then un uncheck loop. But uh, anyway, you vote for Trump and live streams, you're going to pay for that shit. Another woman shouts, beat his ass, while another man is heard laughing and poor remarking, don't vote Trump. This is getting out of hand. These are all criminals and they appear on camera. And they need to be arrested and locked up in prison awaiting a fair trial. Next site. All right, I already did this one about uh, the Twitter stuff, and I ripped a number of them. I went on Twitter, and I told them they belong in prison, which they do. These are criminals. They're threatening Donald Trump. And I'll say the same thing about Obama. If they threatened him, I'd say the same thing. They're criminals. All right, media ice. People have to die. Anti-Trump protesters calls for violence on CNN. Well, they're calling for revolution. During the massive anti-Trump protests held in California the day after Election Day, one woman on CNN spoke for violence and death as a means to enact political change. She's talking about a revolution! This is a Sandinista communist! They're attacking this country! We don't fight. Who's going to fight for us? People had to die for your freedom where we're at today. We can't just do rallies. We have to fight back, said Lily, a Latino woman from Los Angeles. She's a criminal! There will be casualties on both sides. There will, will be because people have to die to make a change in this world, she continued. Trump, enough with your racism. Stop splitting families. Don't split my family. She's a criminal! She's a communist! And she wants to attack this country! She is an enemy of this country! And she must be arrested immediately! I don't wind up shouting myself forth. And they Trump protests turn violent. Cops clashed with 6,000 strong crowd in Oakland and activists black roads in L.A. among nationwide demonstrations that saw the communist Madonna and Cher join 7,000 in New York City. They're communists. They are traitors. They are traitors. They are traitors. Madonna is a traitor. Cher is a traitor. Tens of thousands of protesters gathered across the U.S. as backlash over Trump's victory took hold in Oakland. Protesters set fire to the streets and threw bottles at cops. Police retaliated with spear gas. Demonstrators in New York hung effigies of Trump, the chance of not my president, and Black Lives Matter. In Los Angeles, a disorganized protest of thousands saw fires in City Hall steps and 110 freeway taken over. Rallies were held in at least 16 other cities, cities as American protests against Trump's divisive policy. Bullshit. This is a revolution, folks. We're under attack. I don't know if it's going to escalate or not, but we are under attack. 
This is an armed revolution. More than 6,000 people, protesters were seen on the streets of Oakland. Do you think they're not going to pick up guns? They will! More, more than 6,000 protesters were seen on the streets of Oakland when initially a peaceful march down Cop Line Street turned nasty after protesters threw bottles at officers and torched police cars. An office block was also attacked and dubbed with Fuck Trump. Dobbed with Fuck Trump and Kill Trump graffiti and then set alight. These are criminals! They're trying to overthrow this country. Sharon and Madonna were among New York City protesters who shared telling one supporter they need to fight. She's advocating a revolution. She must be arrested. Cher must be arrested immediately. She's publicly advocating a revolution. She must be arrested immediately and be sent to prison awaiting trial. Trump's full of fighting win has sparked a wave of similar rallies across the country. Protests stopped traffic in Chicago, Illinois, Portland, Oregon, and San Francisco, California, among others. Many others. Outside the White House, can White Vigil was being held in protest against Mr. Trump's the inflammatory and divisive brand of politics. But even peaceful protests in that city went awry, with at least one protester being bundled into the back of the van by a secret service. You want more? There's one more. Katie Perry, I don't even know who this is, but. Sorry, that happened because I was screaming myself hoarse. Uh, Madonna has worn down Trump supporters that we never give in. Madonna is a traitor and must be arrested immediately. While Kitty Perry called for an, a revolution of celebrities, voiced dismay over the controversial Republicans elected to White House. Unbelievable. Lady Gaga, Harry Potter's author J.K. Rowling, singer Sharon Lily Allen vented their feelings on Trump. Well, Family Guy trainer Seth MacFarlane said the next stop was President Kim Kardashian. Right. There's a brilliant choice. Queen of Pop, Madonna, who had campaigned for Hillary, hologram Hillary, said the fight was not over. New fires lit, we will never give up, we will never give in, she, give in, she wrote on Twitter. They're talking about revolution, folks. Here's what Harry Perry, Perry said. Harry said. Katy Perry. The revolution is coming, rise up, we will never be silent. Love Trump's hate, she wrote. I guess that's a Twitter thing. The Roar Singer added, Do not be still, do not weep. Move. We are not a nation that will lead, let hate lead us. She's calling for armed revolution, and she should be arrested. I'm sorry. You just can't do that. They're calling for the overthrow of the government, folks. And they have the numbers to do it. This is why I've been advocating for you patriots out there, buy guns. If you don't have guns, buy them. Buy guns, buy ammunition, and stand ready. They're asking for a fight. And believe me, many of us are spoiling for one. This is, not, this is not beyond belief. These are traitors. These are American Sandinista communists.
I have a whole list of them. Most of these are people that I don't even know. Uh, TV Cook, Nigel Watson, because she felt sickened by the revol result. Never had the audacity of hope, but even so, this is sickening, she wrote. This is more than just populism afraid for Confederate flag to be flying. You people keep up the way you're going, it's going to be more than Confederate flag to be flying. I am not saying everyone who voted for Trump is a racist and a misogynist, but this doesn't negate my earlier remarks. Well, there you have it. You have a communist, a Sandinista communist revolution built. I'm not saying that it's going to escalate, escalate into a full revolution. I don't know at this point. This might uh, calm down in a few days or it might go the other way. If you think these people won't pick up guns, they will. In all likelihood. They just might. Let me put it to you now. There's no guarantee, I can't guarantee the actions of other people. But we're in a lot of trouble. I told you buy guns and get ready. You may have to fight for your country. These are enemies of the country, and we have an enemy of the country in the White House. Trump is not in the White House until January 20th. January 20th. In the meantime, we have an enemy of freedom and an enemy of this country in the White House who's all too happy to allow this to happen. God help us. I'm hoping we don't have to fight these bastards in the street. But if we do, we do. I'm hoping against hope this will just simmer down. All right, I don't want to have to fight these bastards, but my God, he's been lawfully elected to the presidency of the United States. Now we have people advocating, including many Hollywood elites, many in the entertainment industry elites, are openly advocating revolution. And they're openly advocating assassinating Donald Trump. My God, what have we become, folks? This is pure evil on the mark. This is a... I'm going to get in trouble because I'm technically an agnostic. I don't know if I dare say it. The satanic army. There, I said it. I'm not sure whether I believe in Satan or not. This is a satanic army on the mark. Satanically evil. God help us all. I'm on back to Mars. I scream myself hoarse. Wake up, folks. You may be fighting in the streets soon. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not making that prediction. I'm just saying it's possible. I'm on back to Mars.